Uh, would you like to jump into an opening statement or go to questions? Yeah, I just want everybody to know I'm excited to be home. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. Coming to the Carolina Panthers is like a dream come true, and I'm just excited for the journey. And uh, can't wait to get started on the field next week, but having fun so far in all season. Awesome. Appreciate it, Coach. And uh, with that, we can go ahead into questions. Uh, again, guys, just raise your hand, and uh, we'll start with Cassidy Hill. Hey, Coach. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Doing well. Both Dave and then we just talked to Brad as well, have talked a lot this offseason about wanting to run the ball and that being the first thing they want this team to be identified with. Yes. What does that mean to you? How excited does that make you? I'm excited about it. Obviously, the win in this league, you got to be able to run the ball. Just be efficient, making sure that you're matching up, obviously, your run with your play action passes to try to get chunk yards when you do take shots down the field. But to me, everything starts up front with the offensive line, the running game, the tight ends, the receivers blocking, and the running back block, uh, running the ball as well. So I'm just excited for the opportunity just to get this thing going and making sure we have success running the football. I'm just going to Jeff Hawkins. How are we doing? I agree. I agree this coach, uh, Jeff Hawkins from the Charlotte Post. Yes. I was just wondering, um, how is Mike Sanders' attitude and involvement uh, coming off such a down season last year? And what uh, do you expect of him next year? All I can tell you is everybody's showing up to work every day. He is also. And uh, everybody's had a positive attitude so far this offseason. I look forward to seeing what he can do on the field. So far, what I've seen on tape, there's a lot there. There's a lot left in the tank, so I'm ex excited for the future. Yeah, thank you, Coach. Yes, sir. All right, let's go to Dan Gant. Harold, uh, along the lines of running the ball, I mean, there was a lot of uh, investment in that offensive line position this offseason. As you look at those five guys you're kind of slated to have up front, right now, what do you think that group's going to be able to do and, and what are you kind of focused on with them in the early part of the offseason? Just the early part is just teaching the offense, getting those guys comfortable with the calls and the things that we're trying to accomplish. Uh, I'm excited for the group. You know, obviously if you got five guys that can play at a high level, the biggest thing, knock on wood, we just got to stay healthy. All those guys are capable of being high quality players, Pro Bowl level players, not to put pressure on any of them, but I expect big things from that group. Uh, to help this team out. I believe any offensive line on any football team is the foundation of the team. I feel like we got a good start to a good foundation of a future. Right, let's go to David Newton, followed by Mike Cash. David Newton, ESPN.com. Good to see you. Better barbecue here or Columbia, South Carolina? Well, that's a tricky question because my grandparents owned a barbecue shop in Eastover, South Carolina, which is still open. Uh, obviously, uh, they've departed and gone to heaven, but my cousin still runs it. So I got to lean there first with a high number two with the state of North Carolina. Good answer. Uh, <laughs> and also wanted to ask you about the center position. I mean, you mentioned the talent on the offensive line, but obviously you're kind of taking a leap a little bit with Austin going over to center. So I, I know it's way early, but what makes you believe he can make that leap and how important you think it is to find another player that could play that position in the draft? Well, I don't consider it a big leap. It's something he's done way in his past, but he's a football player. Football players can do many different things. He's smart. He's athletic. He's capable of doing anything we asked of him. Uh, so far since I've been here, uh, we've talked about it in my office. He feels comfortable with it. And, uh, you know, obviously it starts with him. And we feel confident as coaches, as an organization, that he can lead us in the right direction. And he's going to have two big guards next to him. So all he's got to do is lead the way, and we should be fine. Um, when he says two guards, I mean, that, when, when you guys got them, I mean, how how much was that? How important was that to you and what you your job is? I feel like it was big for everybody. You know, obviously, I think there's still some young talent in the room that's coming along. And again, I'll go back to say this: like, we just got to stay healthy. Doesn't matter who's in there. I know there was a lot of rotation in different lineups last year. Not to use that as an excuse, but that's part of the game. We need five guys to be out there to play together week in and week out. And usually, those guys that have the same group at the beginning of the season go to deep into the playoffs. Appreciate that. I expect you to bring us some barbecue sometime. I can do that. Thanks. Hey Harold, welcome to well, welcome home. Um, what, what was the name? What's the name of the barbecue joint? Scotch Barbecue. It's in East Dover, South Carolina. It's been there since before I was born, and it's still there to this day. It's in a small town, and every time I make it back to South Carolina, I have to drive there and get some. What's the best thing on the menu? Uh, hash and rice. Don't know if you ever tried it, but just to give you a forewarning, it's a mixture of a lot of pig parts. Oh. Yeah. Um, 
as far as the offensive line is concerned, um, being the run game coordinator too, uh, Icky has been a, a, a really good run def- a run blocker since he was in college. Yes, what sir. do you think the next step is for him as a pass protector? Just keep growing. You know, year one, it's tough. He comes in, he plays a hot position in the NFL. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure from coaches, a lot of pressure from people on the outside as far as fans, the media. He's just got to relax and just get better at the fundamentals. Obviously, year two, there should be a huge jump. That's what we're expecting. Coach Gilbert, who we coach him personally week in and week out, is going to get him better. He's a guy that's uh, – Coach Gilbert's coached a guy like Tristan Wirth, Luke Gadecki, uh, you know, Donovan Smith back in other places that we coached in the past. But he's going to get him at a high level. And Icky knows we want great things from him, and it all starts with him on the left side protecting the quarterback. And then you, you come with, with Dave here and some of the other offensive staff members. I'm just curious, in the one year that you guys spent together, mm-hmm. what made you buy into what he does as a coach and want to follow in you know his, his lead, I guess, so to speak, here? The thing about Dave is, and you guys already probably know this, it's the energy, right? He's happy. He's a happy-go-lucky every day. He's always positive. There is never a down day. Even in the early days in Tampa when we were struggling last year, he was the same guy every day. He stayed consistent, and I can appreciate that. Um, he's a guy that has a vision, and we're all going to follow that vision, and hopefully we have a lot of success here. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now let's go to Joe Person. Hey, Harold. It's Joe Person with The Athletic. Hey, uh, how we doing? Back in the day, I worked at the state paper in Columbia. I'm, I'm guessing Scott's barbecue is uh, mustard based. Nope. Vinegar. Oh. No. Yeah. It's a uh, little hot sauce, a little extra vinegar in it, but it's pretty good. You got to bring you some. Well, I just was checking it out online. It looks legit. But good. Uh, listen, appreciate you doing this. Um, wanted to ask you about your years when, when you were in Tampa. Mm hmm competing against this this team and obviously the the Panthers have had a lot of changes in recent years but I I guess specific to last season wondered what you saw of them from afar Uh, just from afar probably one of the hardest uh, opponents to prepare for Uh, up front I thought the defensive line and the outside backers and inside backers played really well secondary tied into the front end very well uh, also Uh, just the pressure packages I thought all those things were great Uh, It was probably by far, in my opinion, the toughest opponent to prepare for uh, just from a game planning standpoint and just good players overall around the, uh, you know, the first level, the second level, and the third level of the defense. But we expect big things for those guys. They're well coached by all the coaches on defense. So we just got to make sure they get some rest uh, in between series and then come out and kick butt when they have to to close the game out. We've also heard uh, when we talked to Dave shortly after he was hired, he talked about being stubborn last year with the run game. Yeah. And how hard was that uh, for, for you guys that, and that mentality when early in the year it, it wasn't quite clicking? Well, it was a process. You know, it was a new system. They bought some new things that I haven't done before. Not that it was foreign to me, uh, but it was a process. And then it's a position where we in as coaches, you have to figure out what your players can do. So as we travel along the thing called the season, we started to figure out what the guys could do up front, what was good for the running back, what was good for the tight ends to execute from a blocking standpoint. And we did get better. The key is to get better as you go along. I felt like we got better. No, we didn't lead the league in rushing, but we were able to get better week in and week out to make a difference in the second half of the season and make a playoff push. Any more questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. Thank all you guys. Hope to talk to you soon.